Zirconium is no longer a band. There's just no other way to say it. After our first show, our bassist and lead guitarist left uh, because the lead guitarist said he had personal problems he wanted to focus on before he dedicated himself to a band. And our bassist said it was because he wanted to join the Air Force. But after I was told by an outside party, she said it was because they had personal problems with me. And so then it just became me and my drummer. We got to work on the new EP, both of us together, up until he was forced to quit the band in no way. I was only able to get a couple songs recorded with him and from that point on it was just solo project and I lost a lot of motivation to actually make this EP. I honestly forgot a lot of the reason why I was making music and I didn't see a spark in it anymore. I had to force myself basically until I actually sat down and started putting more and more effort until the point where I was using it as a diary once more. And that's where we are right now. This new EP will have six songs on it and it is no longer entitled Bittersweet, rather Forged in Fire. There won't be a cover song on it anymore, rather one of the last songs that I recorded back when Jason was still in the band. It's not metal, but it's probably one of our favorites. Going hand in hand with having six songs on this EP, the first one will be grindcore, then deathcore, emo metal, melodic blackened death metal, thrash metal, and then the punk song, like I just said. Forged in Fire will also be featuring two people on, the, on one of the tracks, the thrash metal one. It'll be featuring my very good friend, Seth, from the metal band Indisposed, and uh, one of our fans, that really wanted to do a guitar solo for us, also on the same track. All in all, it may sound like, to the outsiders, I'd like a different jumble of noises and as if I was just trying to force something that wasn't there, but when I came together, it was something that I had to make just to get rid of the shit I was feeling at that moment. Zirconium stands for a lot more than just music. Rather, the rings I've always had pride in, meaning the unification of metalheads from any genre, and possibly fans of other genres that decided to listen to us. And in the end, I don't know what the fire sh should represent. I want to leave that up for interpretation, the same way that I want to leave all these songs to mean something different to anyone. At some point, I hope to be releasing a single in the form of a music video that needs to be recorded at some point. But even if that doesn't happen, I just really want you all to enjoy this new EP, Forged in Fire.